Hello everyone, welcome to week 16, Trouble on Dry Roads. So now we're going to start off in a place called Chalk River. Yes, the treetop restaurant. It's a good parking spot to grab a nap, but don't go in there when it's full because uh, you're going to be in a world of hurt. So now we're heading off to North Bay. North Bay, Ontario, the SO card lot. Needed some fuel, needed some DEF. And now this guy's parked all crooked there, so I have to gently squeeze in. You can tell this guy's an experience. He's parked all crooked. He's wearing a t-shirt, jogging pants, and fucking sandals. I mean, who does that? That's not right, even if you're wearing socks. You know, something unfortunate happened to this guy. A uh, tire blew out on his steers. That's bad. Really, really bad. I got no idea why the MTO is there. We're in Upsala, Ontario, where an oversized basically has had his load partially dragged to the ditch. It required a lot of heavy rescue towing vehicles to get him out of this mess. Uh, check this out. Over here at headquarters, we've got a third-party carrier, and he doesn't take this turn large enough, so he takes it upon himself to drive on the grass, and creating a lot of ruts and stuff like that. Look, look how he misses it. Oh, wow. What a numpty. I did not get any nice images while I was in the prairies going to Calgary, and now we're going back to Winnipeg. Just as easy as that. This trucking company is obviously so cheap that he wasn't able to put a friggin' license plate bracket on the back of his truck. He had to put it right in where the hazmat placards usually go. Time to take 10 minutes out of our daily lives to do something that we do maybe four times a year, and that is to wash the truck. Sometimes it does a good job, sometimes it doesn't. The trailer that we've got is equipped with a trailer tail. So basically I had to get out of the truck and make sure that the trailer tail was properly deployed because I just got out of the car, uh, the truck wash with that thing. Now that we've validated that the trailer tail has been deployed, we're good to go. So now, what does Winnipeg and Montreal have in common? Yes, they are both very expensive on your maintenance bills because we got to dodge all these freaking potholes that causes tremendous amount of wear and tear on the suspension. With the new Garmin 35 dash cam, we can actually get to see finer details under lit areas, like for example that brand new suspension bridge going across Nipigon right here. You can see everything on the previous dash cam that I usually do my videos with, you would have a hard time seeing these suspension cables. But here, you see everything, so yeah, Garmin 35, very good dash cam. And in this scene, we've got a rabbit that has a difficult time making up its own mind. Over here, we've got a truck that took the ditch on the right side. We're guessing that he fell asleep on the wheel. Hey, Mont Tremblant, Quebec, the year 1978 call and Cheech and Chong want their fucking weed cart back. I hope everyone has a wonderful month of April 2017.